Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of RLI Roundup. We're in the midst of a baking English summer here, and whilst the last 12 months could be viewed as stalled time, momentum is starting to build for companies across the world. Whilst it's been an eye-opening experience, will no doubt see developments in markets and industries for years to come that found their start in 2020 amid challenges born from the pandemic. Here's to a bold new chapter for retail and leisure real estate. The world is hungry for new experiences, new destinations and new beginnings. Now is the time to look to rebuild our futures. So let's take a look at what's been happening across the globe this week. In the UK, Fast Retailing has announced that Uniqlo and Theory are to open a new store on Regent Street in London. The new store occupies an approximate space of 1900 square meters and will be divided along three floors. With Uniqlo located on the lower level, ground and first floors, and theory on the ground floor. Flannels has opened a new flagship in Sheffield's Meadowhall Shopping Centre, which sells menswear, women's wear, kids wear and accessories. It is also the first flannel store to include a flannels beauty space, which consists of beauty changing rooms and interactive and private spaces that allow shoppers to experiment with different products. St. James Quarter in Edinburgh has signed iconic tarry giant Hamlets. The brand will bring its iconic array of toys, including its instantly recognisable collection of Hamlets bears. Speed racing car toys and other family favourites to the retail destination. Iconic British brand Burberry has unveiled their latest flagship store featuring a new luxury design concept at number one Sloan Street in London. The store offers an opportunity to fully experience the brand in a unique space that connects Burberry's past, present and future. The National Basketball Association, NBA, has officially opened its very first UK flagship store in Carnaby, London. The two floor store houses a collection of official merchandise and memorabilia. British fans will also be able to purchase exclusive products within the store and take advantage of the customization service to personalize NBA jerseys and hats for all teams. On the international arena, Prada has renovated three stores in Berlin. Hamburg and Dusseldorf, all of which are now open to the public. The interior of all three stores is characterized by a number of iconic elements of the brand, including black and white checked marble floor and pastel green coloring, synonymous with Prada. Catalan jewelry brand Rabat is opening a new boutique in Ibiza at the central Paseo Barra del Rey. Occupying a total space of 130 square meters, the new store is heavily inspired by summer with beige tones used on the flooring, imitating sand, whilst white walls are reminiscent of typical houses on the island. Iconic sportswear brand Adidas continues to bet on physical retail, with plans announced to open a new flagship on Passe de Gracia in Barcelona. Set to open in the first half of 2022, the store will be one of the brand's largest spaces in Spain and will act as one of the benchmark destinations in Europe. IHG Hotels and Resorts has opened Voco The Hague, which sees quintessential Dutch design and Voco's unstuffy style come together in the royal and administrative capital of The Hague. 
Guest rooms at the hotel have a metropolitan design with a warm and playful touch in true Boco style. Stussy, the streetwear brand, is opening its very first store in Paris. The 180 square meter store will boast a sales area measuring 100 square meters and will be located in Paris's central third arrondissement, opening in October of this year. This marks the brand's 28th store in the world and it will allow fans to discover the brand's universe. Heading over to the Americas, the Canadian performance outerwear and equipment retailer Arcteryx has opened a new store in Manhattan, featuring a newly rebranded micro store concept called Arctype. The new concept store is focused around the brand's most renowned designs and has opened in place of its previous icon stores concept locations in New York City. Upscale convenience store chain Boxtrot plans to open 50 new stores across the US over the next two years. The new and larger stores will highlight product discovery and will feature on-site dining, a revamped cafe menu, and an in-store wine shop and bar that the brand hopes will draw in shoppers throughout the day and into the evening. A new outdoor tourist attraction and walkway called Malahat Skywalk is now open on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. This tower is the first of its kind in British Columbia and offers guests 360 degree views of islands, inlets, fords, forests and mountains. Dior has opened a temporary New York store while the Dior flagship undergoes a period of renovation. The temporary store will be in operation for around two years and is inspired by the Dior Champs-Élysées flagship in Paris. Wilson Sporting Goods has opened its very first store in its hometown of Chicago. The 2,247 square foot space is complete with a distinct leather inspired Wilson signature scent and encourages customers to interact with in-store music, though a new offering called Mood Media. As we venture over to the Middle East, Mediterranean inspired Otso Dubai will launch the new social cafe concept at Dubai Mall this August. The location will offer speciality coffees, artisanal sandwiches, freshly baked pastries and much more. The Hilton Garden in Bahrain Bay has officially opened in the capital city of Manama with a total of 192 guest rooms that offer breathtaking bay and sea facing views. The rooms are complete with curated furnishings that meet the daily lifestyle needs of guests, such as a desk, an LED screen and complimentary Wi-Fi. Sharjah based developer Arada has received 250 million dirhams funding from Dubai Islamic Bank for its Al Jada project. The project is spread over a sprawling space of 24 million square feet and features extensive residential, hospitality, retail, commercial and entertainment and education components. The Saatchi has opened a new boutique at the Galleria Almaya Island in Abu Dhabi. The store further expands the destination's portfolio and reinforces the mall's position as the premier luxury retailing destination in the city, whilst offering customers a full selection of Versace ready-to-wear fashion and accessories for both men and women. The Dubai Mall has welcomed a brand new and exciting concept by Nike, a dedicated Air Jordan concept store, spanning an area of more than 2,500 square foot. The store exclusively stocks the Jordan brand created by NBA legend, Michael Jordan. Filled with the latest trainers and clothing, 
as well as sporting goods, the store is a haven for basketball and sneaker fans. Hopping over to Asia. In South Korea, Incheon International Airport Terminal 1 is expanding its luxury offering with the opening of both the Chanel and Rolex boutique. Chanel will open a 400 square meter luxury fashion and jewelry store, whilst Rolex will open a 212 square meter luxury watch store in the terminal. Dyson has announced that it intends to export and expand rather its demo stores in India, following the store concept entering into two cities, Hyderabad and Chandigarh. The launch of these new demo stores acts as an extension of the aggressive retail footprint that Dyson has embarked on this year. Givenchy has launched a beauty flagship store on JD.com, aiming to bring its various high quality consumers products for cosmetics to a wider range of Chinese customers. Givenchy chose to partner with JD.com due to a guarantee of authenticity, high quality consumers, and a strong consumption power and unparalleled logistics speed. Best Western Hotels and Resorts has announced the opening of Best Western Premier Sapphire Ha Long, a new upscale hotel in Vietnam, located on the waterfront overlooking Ha Long Bay. The brand new 31 storey property boasts stunning views of Ha Long Bay and is located just moments away from the beach, shopping malls, theme park and a water park. And finally, William Pet has reopened a newly decorated store in Bangalore following a period of renovation. The new store features an all new ink wall, which allows customers to try out the luxury pens available. Meanwhile, a personalization station allows customers to have their products personalized. And once again, that brings a close to this week's RLI Roundup. I'll be back next week with more industry news. And for those celebrating Eid al Adir this week, we wish you joy and a safe celebration. Enjoy the weekend and the sunshine.